Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Scavenger. Welcome to today's episode of Ripples. We're on uh, episode 11. Yeah, and uh, we're we're back in the past, 1999. Yeah, that's right, the 1900s, way back when. And we're gonna just figure out what Jack is gonna do about this situation. So. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. And, you know, while you're watching, make sure you smack that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's go. 1999? Oh my god. Is this really happening? Am I dreaming? Am I still lying on the ground outside of the power plant waiting to wake up? It doesn't feel like a dream. Usually when I'm dreaming, I don't question whether I'm dreaming or not. Hmm, I have an idea. I'll jump off something big, and I should wake up before I hit the ground. <laughs> I don't recommend that. That always wakes me up when I'm dreaming. A tree. You look for a tree to climb. I hope there's no one looking outside the window right now. They might think I'm a pervert trying to spy on someone. Or just some weirdo climbing trees at night. My foot is still a little sore, so I need to be careful. I should try and land on the grass just in case I'm not dreaming. Maybe you just shouldn't jump from the tree. Uh, yeah, this is pretty high up. Not too high enough that I'll hurt myself, but it should definitely wake me up if I'm dreaming. Oh! Oh, shit! Yep. Oh! Oh! God damn it, I'm still here. Oh, and my foot hurts even more. Fuck! That was a dumb idea. Okay, I need to rest for a second, and then I'm going back to that fucking power plant. Try to get myself back somehow. Seems like that high-tech machine and the power plant and Darcy's phone call triggered it, but I'm not positive. Why would a phone call trigger a machine to go off? Some kind of radio waves? 5G maybe? I don't know. This is unbelievable. I need to try not to freak out. A deep breath. I need to stay calm. This is really scary. This might be fun if I came here willingly and knew how to get back. It's like I'm in a movie. What if I'm stuck here forever? Is this what happened to dad? Could he be alive? What about Tiffany's sister, Jenny? Oh shit. Hey, what the hell are you doing out here? Oh. Oh, I was just... Shit, I don't know what to say. Did she see me climb the tree? Jenny looks at a broken tree branch. Is she gonna hit me with that bat? Should I book it out of here? I need to calm her down so she doesn't try to call the cops on me. Getting locked up in the past is the last thing I need. So... That's what I heard. Are you some kind of pervert that sits in trees and spies on girls? Where are your binoculars at? Or did Eric send you over here to spy on Tiffany again? Eric? No. Then what are you doing? Think. Think. Okay. If this doesn't work, I'm taking off. You stand up slowly and get ready to run. But Jenny's still in home run mode. Don't move. Stop, stop. Don't hit me. I don't know who Eric is. Then explain yourself. I was getting chased by a dog. It started running after me, so I quickly climbed up the closest tree. Alright. Does that work? I don't see a dog. Man, what's up with her? Give me a break already. That's because it ran away when I fell out of the tree. The falling tree branch must have scared it. Hmm. Plus, if I wanted to spy on someone, wouldn't I pick a tree closer to the house? Like that one over there. I guess that does make sense. And I don't think I've ever seen you around Eric. That's because I don't know Eric and I don't go around peeping on girls. Unless they were in my house dancing to I'm too sexy in their underwear. Or whatever that song is called. Did you just move here? I'm sure I would have remembered a guy like you living around here. It's probably best if I say I'm not from around here. That way she can't catch me in a lie. I'm from Wyndon. I got kicked out of my house and I was trying to find my friend's house, but I can't remember which one it is. When it is about 20 minutes away, and she probably doesn't know that many people from there. Well, why don't you call him then? I lost my phone when I got kicked out. There were cell phones in 1999, right? Shit, I'm not even sure. There were cell phones. You know the, the Nokia phone? That, like the one she's holding right there? It didn't do sh I mean, I, it didn't do shit. I don't remember what it did. All I remember was like it was popular with everybody in school, and the only thing you could do with it is like change out the faceplate, and, and that was that was like the cool thing for high schoolers. Anyway, back to the game. You can use mine. I just got the new Mokia phone. It's really cool. 
<laughs> that phone is crap. I feel bad for people in 1999. Nah, that's okay. I don't remember his number by heart, so it wouldn't matter anyways. Thanks for trying to help, though. Oh, I have an idea. What's his name? Maybe I know him. Oh, this is exhausting. I should have come up with a different story. Why does she have to be so helpful? It doesn't seem like she thinks I'm spying on girls anymore, so I should probably leave soon. Michael DeSanta. Nope, that doesn't ring a bell. That's because that game hasn't come out yet. Oh wait, is that from... That's GTA 5, right? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. I'll get out of your hair now. Thanks for trying to help. You turn around and start to limp away. Hold on! Then he runs over to you, trying to catch you. Yeah? You can rest in the garage if you leave early in the morning. You shouldn't be walking around on a hurt ankle like that. I can get some ice to put on it. Then you can rest and let it get better. Really? You just met me, and you're going to let me sleep in your garage? Well, I feel bad. My sister got kicked out once, and I was so worried the whole time. And you don't seem like a bad guy. I'll lock the door just in case, so you'll only have access to the garage. I need to go back to that power plant. But she's right. My foot is killing me. My head hurts. My body is sore, and I'm exhausted. Wait. Now that I think about it, I could get to know her better and try to convince her not to work at the power plant. Yeah, in, in his time, she is missing. So, he could change some things. But then you know, you know the rules about uh, messing with the past. You just don't do it. You're not supposed to get involved. You're just supposed to let things happen the way they happen. Otherwise, you could cause some sort of rift in the space-time continuum. We've all seen Back to the Future. The second one is the one I'm referring to, where we have a split timeline with like a completely different... It, it, you know, it's it's so convoluted and crazy. Just don't mess with time, okay? Don't mess with the past. That's all I'm trying to say. But we'll see if this game follows any of that logic at all. Fuck. Maybe I could save Dad, too. I don't know if it works that way or, or if I can change anything at all, but maybe I was sent back here for a reason. It's worth a shot. I can always go back to the power plant in the morning, you know? Is everything okay? Yeah, I was just thinking about what you said. What about your parents? They're not going to come out into the garage in the middle of the night? It's only my dad here. He's an alcoholic, and once he passes out, he ain't waking up for a long time. He doesn't drive anymore because he's always drunk. My sister hid his keys to prevent him from getting into an accident. So he no longer goes into the garage anyways. Well, that's pretty sad. Tiffany never talks about her parents. And now I see why. What about your sister? Oh, you don't have to worry about her. I'll set an alarm and wake you up before anyone gets up. So you don't think I'm a pervert anymore? There's nothing wrong with being a pervert. I just thought you might be one of Eric's friends spying on my sister again. Eric? I wonder if that's Jessica's father. I don't know anything about a real father besides Jessica saying that he's a piece of shit. Who's Eric? Eric is my sister's ex-boyfriend. He's been trying to win her back and has been caught spying on her several times now. And it's gotten worse lately. So that's why I thought you might be one of Eric's friends. But enough about that drama. Let's go into the garage. It's getting late and I need to get some sleep soon. Um, are you going to put down that baseball bat? <laughs> yeah, I will. Alright, let's see what's in the garage. That is a nice ride. That is sweet. This is the car that we don't drive around anymore. Jeez Louise, you're letting it go to waste. There's so much potential here. Um, you mind if I borrow it? <laughs> anyway, yeah, and it's really fast. You can see why my sister hit the keys. It says, but. Is that like an old Budweiser poster? I feel like there's going to be a lot of nostalgia in this game for me. And my dad drives like a maniac. That's just bad news waiting to happen. I'm sorry if I'm keeping you up. I don't even know what time it is right now. It's around 1 in the morning, but it's alright. With college and work, I'm not used to getting much sleep. Stay right here. I'll be right back. Okay, thanks. Oh, I saw a big trouble in Little China poster. Jenny goes back into the house and you take a seat in the chair. This is a f***ed up situation I've gotten myself into. I really hope there's a way I can get back to 2019. It's so exhausting now. Five minutes later, Jenny comes back. I feel like five minutes would seem like a long time if you're just waiting in a garage of a stranger. Here, I brought you a couple of things. I got a sleeping bag, pillow, and some ice for your ankle. It's actually my foot that hurts, but thanks a lot. I didn't expect any of this. You're a very nice person, you know that? 
she has that loving, helping, caring personality, just like Tiffany. As long as you don't get on her bad side, it seems. Then you might have a baseball bat coming your way. Well, if I were in your position, I would hope someone would help me. And I hope you all remember this and care for someone else in the future. Being nice is contagious. So, no problem at all. I'm glad I can help. That's a nice way of putting it. You seem like a very mature person. Come, sit down. I'll put this on your foot. So, what's your name? Or do you want me to just call you Mr. Pervert? <laughs> so you do still think I'm a pervert? Relax, I'm only kidding. And I never called you a pervert until now. I was just worried that you were trying to spy on my sister. What if I was trying to spy on you? I'm just going to say my name is Jack. I don't... I don't know what direction this other one will go, but we're, we're just not going to go that way. My name is Jack, not Mr. Pervert. Nice to officially meet you, Jack. I'm Jenny. Nice to meet you too, Jenny. So why did you get kicked out of your house? I went somewhere I shouldn't have and did something foolish. Sorry, I'm asking too many personal questions. You don't need to tell me anything. I hope your parents or whoever you live with forgives you and lets you come back home soon. I hope so too. Hey, everyone makes mistakes. You'll learn from this and get back to your feet in no time. Well, thanks for the encouragement. I didn't know Jenny that well before she passed away, but this Jenny is a very nice person. It's such a shame what happened to her. I should ask about her career before she goes back inside. I don't know when she starts working at the power plant, but according to Tiffany's story, maybe a couple of years from now. So you said you need to go to sleep soon. Do you need to go to college, work, or something like that in the morning? Yeah, I go to Riverside Community College. I know it's not the best college. I kind of screwed up my chances of getting a scholarship for a nice college. You know, mistakes and all. What are you going to school for? Science and engineering. Nerdy stuff. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. What about you? You go to Mount Mary's College? That's over by Wyndon, isn't it? Oh, she thinks I'm in college. I guess I'll just go along with what she said. Yeah, computer science. That's what I plan to go to college for anyways. Oh, so you're kind of nerdy just like me. Yeah, I guess I am. So what kind of place would you work at with a degree in science and engineering? Oh, I don't know. Uh, somewhere I can create something innovative or something that will help people. I always wanted to design robots or machines for some big company. Well, that sounds interesting. Just don't work at the power plant. I've heard it's a very dangerous place to work. I need to try to really scare her without sounding weird or controlling. Oh, okay. I'll keep that in mind. Besides, you don't want to risk being exposed to radiation and dying an early death from cancer, right? Yeah, that doesn't sound like a place I'd want to work. Great. Sounds like she doesn't want to work there. I can't wait until I graduate and I can get away from my drunk-ass dad. He's been pissing me off lately. He treats me like a little kid still. I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe you could try to get him some help. We've already tried a couple of times. He usually isn't that bad, but lately he's been super pissed off because he just found out my sister is pregnant. Oh, you must be pregnant with Jessica. That would make sense. So Tiffany should also be in college in 1999, if I remember correctly. Hey, you said you like computers, right? Yeah, of course. You want to see my laptop I got a few months ago? I saved up forever to get it. Sure. If her phone is anything to go by, I don't think I'm going to be impressed. But it's still interesting to see how much technology has evolved. Stay put. I'll go grab it. Don't worry. It's not like I have anywhere else to go right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Be right back. Jenny rushes back into the house to grab her laptop. That, yep, that's what they look like. <laughs> Big old bricks. Here she is. Look at that thing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Take a look at this beauty. No, I don't want to. <laughs> that thing is thick. I need to act enthusiastic and not like someone who's been spoiled with technology from 2019. Oh, nice. Yeah, she's not the most powerful thing on the market, but she can do all the things I need her to do. Most of my games run pretty well, too. Only the newest games lag a bit. I need to, I need to get something like this. I only have a desktop. I have a desktop, too, but since getting this, I don't use it that much anymore. What games do you like to play? Oh, what, what games were 1999? Oh, man, we got to go back a few, huh? Let's see. Oh, there are so many I like. Recent ones I've been playing are SimCity. We know what the games are. So, what is Mooncraft? That one. So, basically, she's been playing the SimCity 2000. Or I think they had a SimCity 3000. Um, 
Half-Life is probably, you know, what that is. Mooncraft. Um, uh, oh, Starcraft. Okay. Uh, duh. And then Final Fantasy VII. And Evercre EverQuest. That's what we're going with. I'm not going to go uh, off of the uh, made-up names when we obviously know what the real games are. So, uh, yeah, I've played Half-Life, SimCity. Uh, I was I used to play SimCity 2000 all the time. Um, never really got in StarCraft, Final Fantasy VII. Um, I, was, I wasn't I was a kid who had a lot of luxuries, and video games were one of those luxuries I didn't have until I got my own job and started buying my own stuff. Uh, I, I, the, the only game system my parents bought for us as a kid was the Atari 2600. So yeah, I'm uh, maybe aging myself a bit, but I'm pretty sure you all know that I'm I'm up there a little bit. Anyway, um, let's continue. But I still like to play some of the older ones like Miss Doom and Dick Nukem. <laughs> Now, I've played all of those. I'm pretty sure Mist is spelled with a Y, like the actual Mist. That was a great game. Um, I thought it was amazing uh, for its time. And then Doom. Or is that Doom? Yeah, Doom. You know, Doom. And then I definitely played a lot of Duke Nukem. I've, I've played at least two or three Duke Nukem games. Uh, I was very disappointed at Duke Nukem Forever, though. I do know some of those games. I remember Dad playing Doom and Half-Life. I, I, can't, I can't say Half-Death. I remember dad playing Doom and Half-Life when I was a kid. I don't know why anyone wouldn't play Half-Life now. I finished Half-Life like last year. Half-Life 1 and 2 I've, I've finished. Um, great games. They're amazing. Still a little surprised that she likes games like that. I think this is awesome though. Oh yeah, you named some great games. You have excellent taste. Thank you. Go ahead, load one up and try it out if you want. Most of them should be on the desktop. Might be a little hard without a mouse on some games. I forgot to bring it out, but whatever. Okay, why not? All right, what game are we gonna play? Doom. I like how it's spelled like the, it's spelled D-U-M-E on here, but you can see on the screen it's spelled the right way. I'll try Doom because I know I've played that one before. Don't want to embarrass myself too much. It's been a while since I played this. Put it on I'm Too Young to Die or hey, not too rough then. Okay, just don't make fun of me if I'm still terrible at it. This sure does bring back memories. He, she's about to say something like, this just came out last week. I can put in the God Mode code if you want. Nah, it's okay. No fun that way. You missed that room on the left side. There's a bunch of goodies in there. Like more health and ammo, which you need right now. Oh, I'll head back there in a second. I'll stop being an over-the-shoulder gamer. It's all good. Be careful in this room. Maybe try to draw some of them out before going in there. I think I need a better weapon. This pistol just isn't cutting it. I told you to head back to that room you missed. Damn, I forgot. Watch out for that shit. I died. <laughs> Don't worry, not everyone is an excellent gamer like I am. Yeah, okay. Let's see you give it a shot then. Hand it over then. Watch and learn. You think you're hot shit now, huh? I know I am. I'll even change it to nightmare difficulty. I'm trying to show off. You can't play on Nightmare. Whatever. Don't believe me. You'll see soon enough. Now, first of all, you missed the shotgun. That was your first mistake. Second, you also missed the armor. Third, always keep moving. Don't stay in the same spot for too long and don't always go in a straight line. Damn, she's an expert at this game. Totally embarrassing me. Reminds me of Darcy, who is also super good at video games. Okay, now you're just showing up. Nah, this is just another day at the office for me. But don't get too down on yourself. I play this all the time. I was terrible at this game when I first started. You say you haven't played it in a long time, so it's understandable. Yeah, I barely remember anything. Here, you can try another game if you want. If you don't try to embarrass me again, I'll try one more game. I promise I won't. All right, what game are we gonna play now? Hmm. You look around the screen for the next game to try. What is this other games folder? Leisure Suit Lenny, <laughs> BDSM Beauties, and come on. Stop, give me that. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Damn it, I don't want him to know how much of a pervert I am. This is the first time a boy came over that wasn't here for Tiffany, and I don't want to ruin it. I'm not sure if he's into those types of games, so maybe I should come up with an excuse why those are on my laptop. Sorry, I, uh, I didn't mean to yell at you. Um, you're not going to try to grab the baseball bat again, are you? 
<laughs> no, no, of course not. I just forgot those were on there. Those are just um, games my friend Chloe put on there. I don't play them or anything like that. Hmm, she doesn't seem like the type of girl that would play games like that. But I don't know. I've been surprised before. I'll give her the benefit of the doubt, but it's not like I care anyways. Those games are probably nothing compared to the games I play. Maybe I could tell her I also like playing adult games. I'm going to tell her because obviously we're playing adult games. Okay. All right. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Tell her that you also like adult games. Hey, don't worry about it. I know how perverted friends can be. The only thing my friend Brad talks about is... Yeah, that's the same way Chloe is. Even if those were your games, there's nothing wrong with that. You're an adult and adults like games like that. I know I've played my fair share of games with adult content. I'm not ashamed to admit it. Still not sure if I believe her. Why didn't she just delete them afterwards? He plays games like that too? Shit, I probably didn't need to lie to him then. Now I feel bad for lying. He's such a nice and cute guy, and I'm already screwing this up. <sighs> I'll be honest. I do like those kinds of games too. And I also want to do those types of things. It's just... I don't know. A nerdy girl like me doesn't have a chance to play much. If that makes any sense. I'm sorry. I'm the one who's embarrassed now. Hey, don't be like that. Everyone likes those kinds of things. Just some people like them more. I'm sure you'll get plenty of opportunities to have new experiences. You need to stop thinking of yourself as a nerdy girl. And just be the person you want to be. Yeah, I think you're right. Thank you, Jack. I'll try to be the person that I want to be. Good. Uh, I should get to bed. Ooh. I need to get up early for college. Yeah, I'm exhausted. Thank you for all your help. Oh, I don't mind helping you out. And I should also thank you for giving me some good advice. You gave me a lot to think about. Good night, Mr. Pervert. Good night. She's a nice girl. Man, I really hope I'm not stuck here. And I hope I can save their lives. I'm wondering if I'm missing in 2019. If I ever manage to go back, will I go back to the same time I left? That's a scary thought. I need to stop thinking like that and be optimistic instead. Hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. <sighs> All right, we are, uh, I was gonna say we're on a black screen. What's going on here? Young Jack. Dad, why are you dressed all funny? Haha, <laughs> you like it? He looks silly. <laughs> Good, that's what I'm going for. You see, when I first met Tiffany and Jenny, I could tell they were having a bad day at work or got into a fight with their father. So to cheer them up, I would dress up in a funny or silly costume, and I would surprise them. I would dress up as something different every time, and it would always make them smile or laugh. Today, Tiffany had a bad day at work. So when she walks through that door, we're going to start dancing. Dad, I want to dress up funny too. <laughs> That's a good idea. We'll try to find something for you in a minute. We still have a few hours before she gets here. Yay. So what do you think? You think she'll get a laugh out of this? <laughs> yeah. What are you supposed to be anyway? Um, I really don't know. I don't have any costumes that I haven't already surprised her with, so I just threw something together this time. You look like Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah, I can see that with a jacket and gloves. I was thinking more of the village people myself. Speaking of music, how about we throw on a record? Throw it on, Dad. Any requests? Um, hold on. I think I know what to put on. I used to put this album on when you were a baby to stop you from crying and to help you go to sleep. It worked every time. And I know this album cover. I know this album cover. Um, oh, I can't think of it. Oh, I do like that one. Yes, yeah, like father, like son. All right, sing it with me now. You and your father start to sing together. Sleepy time, and I lie. With my love by my side. Now I see how, now sleeps a swan. I don't, I don't know this one. Oh, sh what the shit? Oh, no. Did he witness his dad's death? He's like, ah, daddy. Oh, it's okay, son. This is only a dream. You'll wake up soon from this nightmare. No, Dad. This is not a dream. You'll wake up from this never-ending deja vu and make everything right again. All right. All right. Now wake up, son. Wake up. Time to wake up. No. Oh. Hey, it's time to get up. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Pervert. What the f***? 
Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, I hate those fucking nightmares. It's been years since I've had one. It always starts with great memories of dad, and then turns dark out of nowhere. Whoa. Interesting. What is going on here? You finally notice that Jenny's sitting on top of you. Come on, sleepyhead. I need to get you out of here before my sister gets up. I'm up. I'm up. But I... You're, uh... You're sitting on me. You're sitting on top of my morning wood. This is starting to hurt. Oops, I was just trying to wake him up in a playful way. But then I felt this hard... I better hurry up and get off of him. Sorry, I just wanted to, um... um make sure you were getting up. What's up with her? She's acting strange. Oh, I see. That little pervert. I know she felt my morning wood when she's on top of me. And she was sitting on there before I woke up and didn't move until I said something. I think I've misjudged this nerdy girl. I have some clothes for you. The ones you have on, they need to be washed. After being in a stinky power plant and crawling around, I would agree. I hope they fit. I saw them from my dad. I think he's about the same size. Oh, thanks. Yeah, and there's a big sink over there if you want to clean up a little. I brought you some shampoo, soap, and a towel. Okay, I get the hint. I smell. It's not that bad. It reminds me of when my dad used to come home from work before he got fired. I didn't even notice until I told you goodnight, but I thought you'd like to freshen up a little anyway. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. Make sure you leave in the morning. Wait, I hear somebody's pulling up, I think. Make sure you leave in the next 20 minutes and hide everything under the table when you're done, just in case. Okay, I need to go. I think Chloe's here now. All right, Chloe's pulling up. If you need to stay here again, just come back at night and knock on my window on the left side of the house. Make sure it's not my sister's room. Okay, no problem. Bye, Mr. Pervert. Patting me on the head. <laughs> yep. It's Jack, okay. Did she, did she just pat me on the head like I'm some kind of anime girl? <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. Okay, I need to freshen up and get out of here. I think he's going to get caught in the garage, freshening up. You wash up and change your clothes. Hmm, not bad. Almost a perfect fit. It's a little weird washing up in a sink, but whatever. I feel a lot better now. Okay, before we go back to the power plant, I need to see if I can contact Dad somehow and tell him not to work at the power plant. So in 1999, you think back to when and where your dad would be in 1999. In 1999, Dad didn't live in Riverside. He still lived in New Angeles, the city I was born in. So he'd be going to college at New Angeles University or just starting to work at the power plant. I'm not sure which one, but it has to be one of the two. We moved around the city a lot when I was a kid, so I have no clue where he lives if he's not at the university. New Angeles is about 45 minutes away. I'll just find a phone and, and call both places to see which place he's at. I better get out of here before someone finds me. Good thing she didn't go through my wallet while I was sleeping. I don't know how I would have explained my ID cards. I need to be more careful from now on. Oh, he didn't lie about his name. He just lied about where he's from. You hide everything under the table like Jenny told you and leave to find a phone. Damn.